Hey folks, I was thinking about a couple of things while I was watching this video here. Uh, there's a lot going on with the whistleblowers uh, being intimidated by the Department of Justice and the FBI. They are trying to keep this information down and the people just keep showing up, uh, putting out videos from across the world even as they are fugitives as we speak. Um, the information is being given, uh, not, not freely, but by judge court ordered <clears throat> after we're getting cock blocked by uh, the Department of Justice on this 1023 forms and just about everything that they're asking for. They're actually the Oversight Committee and the Ways and Means Committee and the uh, Judiciary Committee and are all trying to get more and more and more information from the skiffs and they're being blocked in so many ways <clears throat> with this. We got ongoing investigations. That's why they uh, hemmed Hunter Biden up behind those bogus charges. It was so they could say, well, Hunter's under investigation so we don't have to let you know anything about what's going on with the bidens because of the hunter issue that is the absolute truth of why they did that they tried to get ahead of the situation but here uh jake sullivan is a little bit trapped uh, a couple of days ago we got a video of um this guy named gal luft who is an israeli um He's an, he's an Israeli guy, but he's also uh, worked with CEFC, the China energy firm uh, that the Bidens were involved in. And this guy um, had to move from one place to the other because the United States sicked uh, six agents on him, uh, tried to get him in uh, Brussels because he wanted, because he come to the F, uh, to the DOJ <clears throat> with the information that, uh, the Bidens were crooked. Uh, he talked to him about a $5 million transaction, $1 million transaction. He said, uh, basically, a 14-minute video. He spilled the beans. Uh, he explained that uh, he's in fear pretty much for his life at this point, and he wanted to come before the Congress and, and give his testimony. This guy could sink the Bidens with his testimony, and the best he could do at this point is send out a video recording. I did play the video, at least a good part of it, here on my channel a couple of days ago if you haven't seen it uh just go click over to my channel little bubble and go over to uh, a couple of videos back and it's there and i believe i have the link in below to the full video very interesting information this guy's got and i have to believe he's telling the truth well the department of justice today uh decided they are going to just uh, go after this whistleblower mr lou with even more charges. They're actually throwing the charges at him that should be thrown at Hunter Biden. I'm talking about the fair charges, meaning that you're supposed to register if you're going to make money with, with foreign countries. That's uh, a fair violation, which is a felony. Um, weapons charges. They said he was an arms dealer, and he may have been. Who knows? And then they're trying to get him for doing business with the Chinese. Um, as is, I think hunter is more likely that suspect and so everything that they should be charging hunter with they're charging the whistleblower that was working with the bidens and willing to tell off about them with those very charges pretty crazy stuff folks it's kind of like the document scandal with trump and the bidens biden's got all the document issues and they ain't going after trump still today behind document issues Seems like the Democrats, that's part of their playbook. Anytime they do something screwy, like deal with Russia over nuclear arms and stuff, Hillary, um, they turn right around and they start screaming, Russia collusion at Trump. I think the only Russia collusion was happening from the Democrat Party uh, the entire time, and it had very little to do with Trump and uh, election interfer interference. But that's getting off track a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and play this video for you, but... The whistleblower, I uh, would love to talk to the guy, but this, um, the DOJ getting involved uh, with the statement at this point uh, will probably be uh, the next phase of this. They're going to come out and say something about it, and they're going to try to discredit this guy. They're going to say he's a criminal, uh, and so uh, that's his. he's not a credible witness, and they're not going to give him the chance to come to the United States because others lock him up behind it, um, if not worse pretty scary situation the guy's in but the guy is trying to spill the beans now i'm sure if the guy was doing business uh with the bidens james joe and hunter uh with these uh 
CEFC dealings, it's a very good possibility that he is not the most uh, credible of characters when it comes to criminality. But as far as the information that he has give up, given up, a lot of that has already been credible through the 1023 reports, uh, through another whistleblower from the IRS. Uh, this, uh, this guy is mentioned on the laptop. I mean, this guy is nine away from Sunday. It's legit. Uh, that's what I have to believe. But today, since the DOJ decided they're going to throw more charges at him, a reporter got to ask Mr. Jake's sorry-ass Jake Sullivan the magic question. Let's check it out, folks. Yesterday, the U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York indicted a man who now moved for violating the Foreign Agents Registration Act by working without registration for a company called CEMC China Energy. Uh, the president's son and brother worked for the same firm without registration. And uh, the president was invoked in that infamous shakedown text message receiving the transfer of $5 million to the Biden family. Um, the president allegedly met with their business partners, was penciled in for a, five, or a uh, 10 percent time, excuse me, and was listed on a, uh, as a participant on a call about an attempt by U.S. natural gas by CFC. Um, what's the White House's take on the potential fair probability, fair uh, liability for the first family of the president here? I've not seen that and can't comment on it. Yeah. 